Hello everyone, this is Kevin Alexander, and I'm back again to do a uh, another pickup video for you guys. And this time, I got some pickups from a little bit of May, something like that. Um, I got some pickups from eBay, Pokemon, and GameStop. So I got a pretty good, like, decent haul this month. Anyway, what I further do, let's get started. Let's start with the eBay purchase at first. We got two PS1 games. First off, I got two games that bring down all the memories that my, my uncle used to have when he had the first PlayStation place, when he got got the first PlayStation, and that is Wipeout XL. I got it for eBay for like twenty dollars free shipping. It is complete. Awesome racing game game. If you like the Wipeout series, I have so much fun memories my memories of this game. And me and my uncle will play all the freaking time and all that. So, the 20 bucks for Wipeout XL bring back a lot of memories. So, very, very happy to have that in the collection. And for $25 in the long box, and that is Nova Storm on the PlayStation 1. Uh, the case is cracked and the hinges are broken. Yeah, the hinges are broken. Have this one into in there, but for twenty five dollars for no Storm can be that. I remember playing this game as well with my uncle as a kid when he got to put when he had a PlayStation. Um, and playing it now, this game is so freaking hard. It's a really really great hidden gem. If you like shooters and all that, really really great game. But the first level is really, really kind of hard. Even though I never beat the first level as a kid. Even now, I can't be the other kid, but nonetheless, a really, really great shooter on the PS1. If you like shooter, this is a hidden gem for the PS1. And for $25 on eBay, long box, can't really, 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 really uh, happy to have that in my uh, PS1 collection. So, so that's my eBay purchases, and uh, like, and I can't wait to uh, play these games again and bring back the memories that me and Uncle used to play. So, there's that. And then we got time for some bookman, bookman pickups. Um, yeah, so I got some trading credit. Um, I didn't use no money at all. Uh, here's a little bit sorry. Uh, I got Mario Brothers, the arcade classic series. I pop it in on my restaurant too. Didn't work. Trying to clean it and everything like that. It didn't work. It tries to kept the Skyhawk again for really cheap for five fifty. Didn't work either, so I traded those two games. There, got a little bit of trade credit, and um, for those two, I paid a lot of money. And those two, I, I did I was with a trade credit. So uh, let's start off with um, two pickups. I put our pickups on my own pocket first. First up is Castlevania 64. I got it for sixteen dollars with tax. And um, I remember having this game as a kid. As far as the game is terrible as it is, um, I really want to have it back in my collection. Even though playing it now, and the, now I really want to burn this game to the ground, ground to pieces. But nevertheless, I'm glad to have this game back in my collection and bring back some terrible, terrible memories of this game. So. Yeah, can excited to have that to have that back in my N64 collection. And the last one right here, the third game that I need that my uncle that my uncle used to play and he used to have for the PS1, that is Soviet Strike on the PlayStation One. I remember we played this a lot, a lot when you had a PlayStation, and I remember there's like flying around helicopters, blowing up buildings, and all that stuff. So for six fifty, we well, got this really cheap for six dollars. Plus tax, really, really happy about that. It is complete. Can't really, really have that. Now I have like four games I I used to have for the my uncle used to have when he got a PlayStation One, and then by playing these games again will really, really make him proud. So happy, happy, uh, happy about that. And now these two I pay with trade trade credit. Um. I got myself for ten dollars. I got myself an NES controller, which I'm glad to have a second, second, any second controller for the NES for my Retro 2 instead of like playing on the uh, 
the third party Retron 2 controller so I can play on the regular controllers. So, so ten dollars for an NES controller can't be that. And this game for ten fifty, I always wanted this for a long time. I love it. Disney kept on getting rid of one for a long time. That is Little Mermaid on the NES. Um, I really wanted to get this game for a while, but every time I looked at it on eBay, kind of like, like thirteen to like fifteen dollars online, I didn't really want to pay all that much for it. But for ten, fifteen dollars plus tax, happy, happy, happy about that. So. Yeah, my goal this year is to get all the Indian games that I really want for my collection to beat that collection up because I never have an NES as a kid and I want to experience the NES as of now and play all the other gems besides Mario and all the other stuff. So, 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 so happy about that. And finally, I got some GameStop pickups. Um, I picked up two games here. And that is the first game I got for the PS4. Wild Arms Reloaded. Cannot wait to play this. This is a remake of the original Wild Arms on the Super Nintendo. It has like two characters. With two new characters. It has classic and new stages. It's like an old school game. An awesome remake from the original Super Nintendo game. Which I never really, really played before. So look out for the... Um, the uh, come to plays of this game uh, really, really soon, so uh, I cannot wait to play it. And uh, for like twenty-three dollars for the Elite Pro member, can't beat that. So cannot wait to try it out. And finally, the last game I got for the pickup, and the last pickups for this video, that is Platoon on Wii. U. I really, really wanted the game for a really long time. I got it for like $24, um, which is like okay deal, but I want to lower than that. And uh, I really won this game for a while because I while, but I didn't really pay uh, like the 30 to like $35 like price rate for this game. And I uh, played for a little, played for like an hour. It's really, really, really freaking awesome. Now even the turf war for this game is like Call of Duty, like Nintendo version. Like turf war is like. Like you get like you gotta splat the most paint before your opponent splat your own paint to get the most paint wins. It's like Call of Duty, like Nintendo version of it. So really, 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 really good game. The sad thing is though, the online is dead now because people play Splatoon 2 now on the Switch because of this. Because nobody plays the first one anymore, first one anymore online anymore because the people playing Splatoon more a lot on the Switch. But nevertheless. Happy, happy to get this and have to have it in my Wii U collection. And that is it, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this pickup video. Um, hit me more videos coming soon. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. If you want to hit me up more on my uh, talk about my videos and stuff, hit me on my Facebook fan page at facebook.com to Camp Alex game page. And I'll see y'all next time with another video. Thank you very much. And goodbye.